Hey everybody, welcome back to Everyday Barbecue. My name is Mike, sporting a little bit of new swag today in case you didn't notice, new shirt. Let's get on to this recipe. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do Italian beef sandwiches. This is another way. I showed you one a few months back. We're gonna do another one today and we're gonna get started right now. Okay, so for this recipe, this is gonna go in the slow cooker overnight because this is gonna be for my football guests tomorrow, my brother and my nephew. So we're gonna let this rock overnight at a low temperature in the slow cooker. And all we have is a couple roasts. You can use any roast you want for this recipe. As a matter of fact, I've got a chuck roast and I've got, I think what they call a Boston arm roast. You just want something with a little bit of marbling, not too much, not too little. As Long as it looks good, you can go ahead and rock it. This is about four pounds, maybe a little over four pounds of meat grand total. Now all I did to prep these before they went on this plate is I got a frying pan super hot with some olive oil and I seared all sides of both of these roasts. That's one of the magic parts of this recipe. It really brings out some additional flavor while this spends hours and hours in the slow cooker. Now going in there with that, this is gonna be the same seasoning blend that I used in my last recipe, which is just some garlic powder, basil, oregano, and some black pepper. Don't worry, I'll have all the amounts down at the bottom in the description. We've got some whole garlic cloves this time because this is gonna be done over a long period of time and these are thick pieces of meat, so before we shred them, I wanna get a lot of garlic flavor in there. So I've probably got eight or nine garlic cloves in here. Then we're gonna rock some pepperoncini, AKA pepper rings. And you know I love my jardinere. Jardinere is absolutely gonna go in here. So let me show you how we get all this into the slow cooker. Now I've got my slow cooker here preheated with about four cups of beef broth. The first thing we're gonna do is add half of these spices. So we're gonna go ahead and get the first half of this in. And we'll go ahead and stir that in. Now our roasts are gonna go in here. Okay, so now that we've got both of those in there, it's time to add our pepperoncinis. And I've got a little bit of the juice that comes in the jar just to add a little bit more flavor to this. And what I like to do is get some of those into the broth and leave some up on top. Now let's get our garlic in here. And last, but certainly not least, is gonna be our jardinere. Okay, now, the rest of our spice mixture here. And we're just gonna baste that a little bit. Get this covered up. So that is it. We've got it covered up. We're gonna let it go overnight, eight, 10, 12 hours, whatever, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna let this cook. We're gonna let this get really tender. We're gonna shred this, and we are gonna make one badass sandwich tomorrow. So I'm gonna cut this right here and bring you back when it's time to shred because I need a little bit of sleep. See you in the morning. All right, we're back. It's been about 11 hours since we put this in. The good news is it's ready to go. The bad news is I didn't sleep all night because this smelled so unbelievably glorious. I mean, it made my whole house just smell like a beef stand. I mean, crazy. Hard to sleep when that's going on. Okay, I wanna talk a little bit about this slow cooker technique before we get into shredding this, okay? So first of all, why did I do this overnight? I did it overnight because I don't like to cook anything in the slow cooker on high. I always like to do it on low and then I like to keep it on keep warm to let all those flavors re-permeate into whatever it is that we're cooking. And because I had to have this done for the football games today and I got guests coming around 11, I needed to run this overnight. Now, if you've ever cooked in a slow cooker on high and then ate the food right away, you'll notice that it has almost no flavor. Like all the flavor gets cooked out of the food. It's just really weird. I've never really understood it or researched it. And so what you have to do is if you're gonna run it on highs, you gotta turn it down to low or on keep warm and you've gotta let that cool down and let all those flavors reabsorb into whatever it is in the slow cooker. If not, it's usually not really good. So because we ran this on low, I woke up, I came downstairs, I switched this to keep warm. This thing's gonna be absolutely outstanding. First thing we need to do is shred it, and then we're gonna let it sit for a little while longer before we serve. Also, before anyone says anything about leaving the slow cooker on at night, I get it, I know there's a safety risk there. That's something that you have to think about. I've only done it a few times, it's not something I do all the time. So keep that in mind. Important safety tip, Egon. Sorry, I'm a big movie buff. Had to throw some Ghostbusters in there. 
All right, let me show you how this thing looks and let's get it shredded right now. Okay, so here we go. And you can see that this is just soft and tender. This is exactly what you're looking for. Now we're gonna shred this up and let all this juice and everything just soak into the meat. That's gonna make every bite of this absolutely outstanding. Let me go ahead and shred. All right, so there's what we're left with. Smells so good. And this is just gonna make some great sandwiches. Look at that, we've got all those peppers in there. Let me find one of those big hunks of garlic. Here we go, look at that. Beautiful. All right, now normally I'm gonna let this sit for a couple hours and I'm gonna do that for my guests, but because I've gotta prepare other stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and build a sandwich right now for you so you can see how beautiful this is. Okay, so I've got about a six inch piece of bread here. We're gonna start with a couple slices of mozzarella. Now time to load this bad boy up. Get a little bit more in there. There we go, a nice big fat piece of garlic. Now we want to add just a little bit more gravy to this. There's sort of a fine line between how much of this to use and keeping your bread together, so always be mindful of that. The bread soaks this up and becomes very fragile. Okay, now we are gonna add more jardinier to this sandwich. And I love the flavors of the oil too. We're gonna go ahead and drop that down as well. Now one of the reasons we go with as much broth as we do when we cook this is so that we can have some for everybody to go ahead and dip if they wanna dip. So when I do it in the slow cooker, I like to do it this way because this gravy is so outstanding and it's a shame not to go ahead and dip the sandwich in there. It's time to give this bad boy a try. All right, let's get a little dipping going on here. Absolutely beautiful. Cheers. One bite's not enough. That's how you're supposed to look when you're eating Italian beef. Juicy, messy, and glorious. So the tanginess from that pepper and chinis coming through, the jardinier, the oil from the jardinier, the peppers, and all those seasonings. And this meat has really taken on all that flavor, and it's just unbelievably good. I mean, it's, it's like this every single time I make it. This is just another way to do this. You don't have to go this route. You can go that easy way that I showed you before, like using lunch meat. But I'm gonna tell you what, this might be a little different, but the flavors are just, they're crazy. They're explosive. Give me a second, will you? Boom. Here's what's crazy. I've been eating these sandwiches for over 40 years. This is the first time I ever had one for breakfast and I love it just as much. All right, everybody. Thanks again for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. Remember to hit the like button, comment. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you like what you see. I'm gonna be out here every week. I try to do weekly videos. Sometimes I'll squeeze in an extra. Thanks again for joining me today. I appreciate it. I'm gonna go back in and finish my breakfast. I'll see you on the next episode.